Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of War Robots Test Server. This is 2018, June 30th, and it will also be July 1st. In this weekend's test server, it is version 4.0.0, .0, package 469, and there are two weapons that were tested last week which have had changes. These two weapons, or new weapons, are the Shredder. There's no graphic here, although you can see it on the robot itself. And you'll see that there is a description this time. Uh, but it's incorrect. Uh, the slot is actually light. It is an energy weapon. It's direct uh, and manual guidance. And each round has a chance to immobilize the enemy, what they call a root chance. So basically, compared to last week, the damage has been increased, range decreased, the root chance increased, the root duration of immobilization, that is, decreased, accuracy increased. So it's um, 760 damage. Uh, it's hard to visualize. 350 meter range, much like the Tehrans and Magnums and Redeemers. 12.5 bullets per second, uh, 40 ammo. So reload time is four seconds. Root chance is 2.6%, but I believe that's per bullet. Root duration is five seconds. So it's five seconds of immobilization. I put it on two robots. They both only have light weapon slots, the GI Patton and the Pursuer. Uh, you could also use Stalker, Destrier, or, or, or a uh, Gepard. There's three robots that I'm using, and you can use others like the Rokatka and so on, for the other weapon, which is the Pulsar. This is a medium weapon. It also has a description this time. It is correct. It is medium. Energy weapon, direct tra trajectory, get manual guidance. It also can immobilize the enemy. Uh, but it is a longer range. So it's uh, 1720 damage. That's per round. 600 meter range. Supposedly two charges per second. Ammo only 12. So only 12 shots. Reload time 5 seconds. So slightly longer than the shredder. Root chance is 10%, so there's more likelihood that it will immobilize the enemy. And same duration, 5 seconds of immobilization. Compared to last week, the damage is increased, rate of fire increased, no acceleration. The ammo is increased, and the reload time is increased. The root chance decreased, unlike the shredder, and the root duration increased. Okay, And apparently there's also minor weapon bug fixes. Uh, we'll see if they actually address the Tehran bug. And so I place it on the Heishi, the Bogosari, and the Spectres. We won't necessarily see all of them, but it'll be interesting to see it work on a Spectre as well. So maybe I'll start with uh, with, with that when demonstrating the, the, the medium weapon Pulsar. Okay, so let's start with the light weapon Shredder. I'll play rather aggressively so that you can see all these robots in action. <coughs> with the Pursuer. So I'll play rather aggressively um, and die quicker with each robot uh, so that you'll have a chance to uh, see these weapons in action. Huh. Can't seem to rush. Uh, or hunt this. So we'll have to report that as a potential bug. Oh, I can't seem to go into the hunt. Oh, okay. I'm going to the hunt mode. No. It's not enabling the ability. I don't see the graphic. <coughs> okay, so I'll be quite vulnerable without the ability. So it's more like a uh, physical weapon rather than an energy weapon. 350 meters, so the specter would be in range, but I'm being hit by this dragoon. Okay, let's try another robot. Try the pattern. See if I have better luck in the uh, area with more covers. This is quite a slow robot. 
I'm a big fan of this speed. Looks like that robot's not moving as it is. <coughs> see if I can immobilize this fury. Okay, good. See, see the immobilize. So it says it's immune after a certain time. I guess after it's been immobilized, it's immune for a while. <coughs> Alright. Let's try the Spectre. This will be quite powerful. Okay. Now this special ability is working. <coughs> Mobilize and it's immune. I'm going to keep hitting it. I guess it's immune to further mobilization. Yep, this, uh... <coughs> hey, I've got to jump here. One, two, three. I've lost my stealth. Oh no, I still have it. But not for long. Better get hiding. Okay, I've immobilized it, so actually, this is quite a good tactic to play. Immobilize it, and then hide. We, we jump into stealth. I better find cover soon. It's great that I can immobilize the enemy. <coughs> this is a very effective weapon. Is that special ability? Now, is this really an energy weapon? Because it looks like it, it looks like a, it's fire, actual firing, actual rounds. Okay, let's try this on the dash bot. Interesting look on this weapon, very unique. <coughs> Looks more like an actual ballistic round rather than energy weapon, but uh, that's immobilized. That's quite a powerful weapon if, if I guess you can take turns immobilizing an enemy. And immobilize that enemy good now, but it can still shoot and turn. It's just not able to move. It's immobilized, took a, took a lot of shots for it to be, to be immobilized. But it can still fire them. So now that you know this weapon is coming, um, that might affect uh, the purchases that you will make, such as the Scourge and so on. It's quite a good range, 600 meters. <coughs> I wonder if the ants or the physical shield can stop this weapon. I think the physical shield is stopping this weapon. Okay, last robot. It's Bulgasari. I wonder if I'm immune with the physical shield. That's a great range. But it only has uh, a smaller number of shots. So maybe that's that's fair compensation. <coughs> well, thank you very much for watching. This has been War Robots Test Server 2018 June 30th to July 1st, version 4.0.0, package 469, where you've seen the demonstration of the light weapon Shredder and the medium weapon Pulsar. Thank you very much for watching.